Hi, Andre. Daphne here. Thank you for your lovely message. That made me really smile. Um, how nice you think my pronunciation is good. Um, I do have a very English accent. I come from the south of England. Um, so we we do... I mean, it just, it's a kind of... Um, yeah, a lot of people say it's posh English. I think that's... Um, probably not necessarily true um but obviously th there is i don't have a regional accent i suppose a southern regional accent maybe but hope i'm glad most important that it's clear for you to understand that's the most important thing um and thank you for your corrections just had a look through all those that's brilliant you're not making lots of mistakes i don't want you to worry what you're doing is that you're pushing yourself which is fantastic it's exactly what i want to see you're ambitious you're really going for it and because you're going for it, you're trying things and sometimes it works and sometimes there's just a little error. So I really wouldn't worry. Um, what is important, though, having said that, um, we need to get these greetings absolutely right. So if you're writing, because this is the first thing an examiner is going to look at. If you're writing, dear Mr. Jones, you can have your sincerely. That's absolutely fine. But if you're writing, dear John, I know you might not know him that well, but you could put regards or you could put kind regards, something like that. So that's sort of neutral. Uh, that's a little bit more neutral, informal. Uh, with a friend, you might put see you soon. Yeah, or love, something like that. Okay, but the, the levels of formality are really important. And obviously, if you have a dear sir, then you absolutely have to have yours faithfully. So I'm sure you know that. But just make sure you are super confident with that. Uh, okay, so this very difficult letter to your neighbour. So, dear John, I hope that you and your family are staying safe and healthy. Lovely. I know how much you adore your lovely dog, who indeed deserves all of your attention. But I unfortunately have to let you know that he's been causing some minor inconvenience, absolutely, to my family by continuously barking. Absolutely perfect. Well done. Funnily enough, I had to write exactly this letter to a neighbour of mine last summer. And... It made me laugh because I've read lots of students' letters on this and I thought, okay, perfect, I'll just copy a student's letter. It's actually quite difficult to write, isn't it, without being offensive. I believe we can solve this issue together in a respectful way and I'd like to suggest you take him, right, suggest something to someone that's in infinitive. Suggest you take him for a walk more often as he might be too stressed right now by staying at home longer than... Um, Yes, longer than he used to be. If you're talking about him, he used to be. Staying at home longer than he used to be. You could put a comma in, used to be, comma in here prior to the crisis. You don't have to, but you could because it's quite a long sentence. I'm by no means a specialist. I love that. But your adorable pet might also need to socialise with some other dogs more often. I'm completely open to suggestions. So please let me know what are your thoughts regarding this problem. Good. Um, I mean, you're open to suggestions. It really should be he's open to suggestions. Um, so I would almost say, I hope you don't mind me making suggestions. Suggestions. And please let me know. So if you're going to run with this, I hope you don't mind me making suggestions. And please let me know what your thoughts are. Now here you don't need to invert, it's not an actual question. So what your thoughts are regarding this problem. I'm looking forward to hearing from you and hope we can go for a walk uh, uh, after this lockdown. Uh, that's so nice. Well done. Really, really good. And then I would have regards because for me that suits the style of that letter. Absolutely super letter. Well done. Really, really nice, Andre. Lovely. Uh, yes, it would be nice to go out for walks. Uh, it'd be nice to see real people, won't it? Um, I don't even know where you are in the world. Um, let me know where you are. Okay, some days, now nowadays, most green energy. This is a great essay because what we're looking for here is all this incredibly rich vocabulary on the environment. Uh, these are collocations, words, words which sit together comfortably. Um, there's a lot of vocab in this kind of topic. Uh, it is quite popular. Um, and also you can bring this vocab into quite a wide range of essays too, I think. So nowadays most green energy is, uh, sorry, green energy is becoming ever more prevalent. 
Uh, some argue they reduce costs and are better for the environment. Others believe they're a threat. Okay, discuss both views and give your opinion. So many scientists predict that renewable energy will grow in importance over the next decade, as it is more environmentally friendly and safe. Excellent. However, others emphasize its overall inconsistency. Great vocab. Are these words that you've looked up? I mean, they're fabulous, which makes it unreliable. Um, which I would just put in a little here often, just this um, hedging device. I mean, sometimes it is reliable, but it may not be. In my opinion, both sides have strong arguments. Um, therefore, widespread adoption of green energy. Uh, I wouldn't go therefore here. I would go although or however. Uh, therefore is better in the conclusion. Here you're saying you're a little bit cautious. However, or although, widespread adoption requires a cautious approach which needs to take into account its weak spots, such as advanced a lack of advanced storage facilities. Uh, if you're putting even today in there, I like that a lot, but just put a comma before it because you don't need it. Um, it's just a little afterthought, even today, kind of thing. But fantastic, great intro. It's nearly impossible to deny Okay, a posit the positive effects of utilising solar. Okay, nearly possible to deny? We would say almost impossible rather than nearly impossible. It's almost impossible. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm just questioning it because I think it's slightly informal. Uh, it's impossible to deny it is stronger, but I know what you mean. You don't want to go too strong. So I'd go almost. It's almost impossible to deny. Now you need the because it's specific. A positive effect is just one of many. Here you're talking about the positive effect of utilizing solar, wind, and geothermal energies on climate change. Um, we usually say to combat, like a battle. Combat or reduce the effects of. Um, I think we do need this in here. Indeed, a drastic level of carbon footprint. Again, um, the drastic level of carbon footprint caused by oil and, uh, oil and coal industries, um, that you need the again, sorry, has been threatening the entire planet by increasing the average temperature. Um, now, the drastic, we don't talk about level of carbon footprint. We talk about the drastic carbon footprint impact um, or the impact of the carbon footprint left by, that's a bit long, um, you could have level of carbon emissions, you could have that. Uh, do you see what I mean about the collocations? Trying to get them exactly right can be hard. So we can have the level of carbon emissions or the impact goes with footprint caused by oil and uh, coal industries has been threatening the entire planet good by increasing the average temperature while well, green alternatives typically do not contribute to global warming lovely recent study showed that air quality is significantly superior in the north northern adjective part of europe where numerous wind turbines uh, were installed in the last decade uh, yes opposed to data received from Canada and the USA, which typically rely on oil supplies. Excellent. Now here you don't need the, because you're talking oil supplies in general. So we use the when it's specific. Um, and here you're just talking general oil supplies, not particular oil supplies. Therefore, yes, take into account the eco impact of renewable energy. It can be stated that uh, uh, these, now, ooh, I know you're talking about renewable energy, but you're actually talking about lots of them. So I would go for these as your referencing pronoun there. These will continue to slowly, um, to slowly replace. Um, oh my goodness me. Uh, continue slowly replacing is okay. Let, let's leave it like that. You could have continue to slowly replace or continue slowly replacing it doesn't matter you can actually have either there so let's leave it where you are um this is a really lovely paragraph very well organized so the coherence is fabulous i love the kind of smooth reading of this excellent vocabulary very strong on the ideas as well you know what you're talking about here 
Uh, the most common problem with green energy is, is an inability to store it for a long period without drastic losses. Uh, the lack of adequate energy storage. So you could have here this actually. I was talking to another student about referencing the other day. This is lovely referencing. This is referencing as well. So this means referring back to something. Here it's this. Here it's this inability to store it um, without repeating it. Uh, so this specifically lack of uh, adequate energy storing mediums might be surprising because despite the efforts of leading scientists, comma, even the most advanced batteries cannot preserve large quantities of accumulated power cost effectively. Hence, it needs to be used immediately. I'm feeling you're a scientist here. This is like I'm reading a newspaper. This is amazing. Are you a scientist? The Danish adjective. Uh, government reports that during adverse weather conditions, solar panels and wind turbines cannot completely sustain cities and traditional coal bait. Uh, why don't we get, get an adjective in here? Overcrowded. Uh, or highly demanding cities. Just because it's a language exam, we may as well get an adjective in there. And traditional coal base stations have been utilized to compensate the shortage. Good. Therefore, <clears throat> um, you've got therefore there. So instead of that, you could be there. Um, it could be uh, be suggested that. That might be a bit cautious. It could be suggested that or stated that. Uh, renewable resources often can often cannot fully substitute traditional fuels such as, yep, and might possess, uh, now pose, we pose a risk. Uh, we pose a risk to countries which heavily rely on them. You don't need a comma there because you, you mean exactly these countries. You There's no comma there. Countries which heavily rely on them. Okay, really good writing. Absolutely fabulous. This is amazing and really interesting as well. In conclusion, I believe that once a problem with energy storing mediums is solved, the green green energy, so now you mean green energy in general, you don't mean specific. Uh, if you were specific, you could say the green energy from Denmark or the green energy from Germany or whatever, but here you're talking non-specific. Green energy will take the leading spot and overshadow fossil fuels. Until then, it must be supplemented with traditional power stations to prevent a constant risk of energy shortage, which is unacceptably high, which is um, an unacceptably. Okay, articles is the biggest thing here, which is an unacceptably high price to pay for many societies. Um, Andre, this is super. This is really, really fantastic writing. Please take your exam soon and just, just get an amazing result. I mean, this is really excellent writing. Very impressed indeed. Um, can't say any more than that, but do check out articles. Okay, this is important. Um, really useful thing to just have a look at. Um, otherwise, well done. Really good. Thank you.